Today we are learning how to make rope. Give me five minutes, you'll be able to do it too. For this exercise today, follow along with whatever you have, twine maybe, or your shoelace. I'm gonna start from the very beginning. Now the first thing you have to do is get some plant fibers. Now I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. I'll show you which plants you can get at the end. I have some wisteria vine right here. I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing. Now with this wisteria and with a lot of vines like this, what you're gonna try to do is you're gonna separate out the phloem fibers that are on the outside from the xylem fibers which are on the inside. And the inside is kind of the core of it. So to do that, you beat it with a rock. You gotta do that over here. You can hear it crunching up the woody parts. So what I'm doing here is just working my way down the stem and slowly crunching up the fibers. I know it sounds weird, but if you do it the first time, you'll realize why this works. You won't be able to pull the flowing fibers out unless you do this. Bada! Here's your fibers. There's the inner core. You don't want that. You're basically just gonna peel off those fibers. And it's surprisingly easy once you've crunched it up. I had to go back a little bit at the nodes, but other than that, it went very smoothly. This is the bit you don't want. These are the bits you want. Look at that. Oh boy. In this particular case, I split it up into two, essentially trying to have one strand just as thick as the other strand. So I'm just gonna speed up this whole process so that you can see what exactly is happening. This was a 12 foot vine that I split in half, so I have 24 feet of fibers to work with. Okay, this is the bit we don't want, but you can still use this inner core to tie stuff up with. It's pretty strong. I'm gonna dry that out, see what happens. Now the technique is super simple. Essentially, you're just gonna start twisting in opposite directions with your hand. So I'm going this way with my right hand, this way with the left hand. It doesn't actually matter which way you start, um, although it's gonna change the process up just a little bit. As I start twisting, it's just twisting, twisting, twisting. What will happen is eventually it's gonna bind up on itself and it's already starting to do that, but I'll, I'll let it do its thing here. Oh, there we go, you see that? Started to twist up on itself. That is the beginning of what we're gonna do right now. It's called a reverse wrap. So I will take my hand, now that it's started, and I'm gonna pinch it right here, okay? Now, with this hand, I'm going to twist away from me, grab the rope, pull it back, pinch it again. Grab the other bit, twist away, pull back. And once you start the process, it'll just go the whole way. And what, what happens with this is that there's a little bit of, um, there's, there's a tensile strength that will keep it from untwisting. So away, back towards you. Away, back towards you. Just away, back towards you. Just away, back towards you. You just gotta get the muscle memory of away, back towards you way back towards you. At some point, you're gonna run out of fiber on one end and you're gonna have a lot on the other. And it's like, oh, what do you do? Well, that's the easy part. You can just mix in more fiber. So here I've got more fiber. Lay it right next to the other one and keep your twist going. So twist over, pull back, twist over, pull back, twist over, pull back. And now it's, you know, I've only done a few wraps. It's basically mixed in and we will keep going. That's all you do. Pretty simple technique. Um, try to keep the strands even on both sides. If not, you'll get one, the thin strand that just more or less wraps around the other one. You want them to be kind of a symmetrical thing. Now this is not the process they make the bigger ropes out of. That's three strands, but it's more or less the same process. They twist them in one direction. The greater three-stranded twist goes in the opposite direction. The point of this for me and Stone Age Man is I want people to go out into the woods and learn how to interact with it. This, this is a basic survival skill, but I'm not really doing it for the survival skill aspect of it, although you really need to know this if you're gonna make a shelter, you can twine things up but I'm doing it because I think it's a great way to understand what's actually happening out here. We have been doing this as a species for thousands of years. There was a new discovery this week even, this is just a fun tidbit, that Neanderthals were probably doing this 42,000 years ago, at least. They found it in this cave in France. It's pretty neat knowledge, right? I mean, this is something fundamental 
to how we became so dominant on this planet. I have to thank my patrons who are helping me get through this quarantine right at the moment because I have no other way of earning an income other than finding ways to educate all of you on the internet. Starting to rain. Here's what I've got right now. Woo! How, how far is that? That's like almost six feet, five, five feet of rope. Uh, I'm gonna keep adding to this, keep it going. I hope you are too. Hit that like button if you got something out of this. If you're making rope right now as we speak, comment down below or comment why you're not. You should do that. Stop, rewind, take off your shoelace, make some rope out of that. Might as well, this is a basic technique. I'm talking too fast because the rain is coming. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Check out some more of these. Okay, see you soon. Oh, 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 snap. <laughs> oh, it didn't quite hold my body weight, but very close. <laughs>